can get to equipping ourselves with some muscle. So go ahead and get that band or um, broomstick or whatever you have. We're going to work some shoulder pass-throughs. So taking about a shoulder width apart, just outside of shoulder width apart. Uh, we're going to create tension on that band or on that stick. We're just going to press that up and over and pull all the way back behind us. So what we're looking to do is keep those arms nice and straight as we pass through. You may need to pull a little bit farther apart to get that big range of motion, which is fine. Um, ideally, we're looking to be as narrow as possible between those two hands as we go um, around and come back. So I want to see no bending in the elbow here. A lot of times people are going to try to bend those elbows as they get here, but I want you to keep those arms straight even as you pass through because that's going to be the spot that we're working. Um, kind of avoid that sticking point. So just pull that band apart a little bit if you need to. As you pass through, we're going to go one more time here. All the way down, all the way back. Big stretch, really reach out. And good there. All right, that's all you need your band for. Just get those shoulders loose. All right, so we're going to work on a little bit of lower body, a little bit of rotation. Um, so go ahead and take a nice forward lunge stance. Really lean into that front leg. Um, your uh, front knee, we're going to reach the outside of that. And we're going to rotate across, getting a little bit of that thoracic rotation out. And we're going to go two rotations on that same side in that lunge. Coming back and we'll rotate legs on the outside, pulling across, keeping that weight in that front foot. We're going to go back and forth two more times each side. We're really focused again, loading up that front foot, try to increase that range of motion on that rotation. Each rep, and really push against that knee. That knee should be pushing into that hand one more time each way here. So really push against that knee, that knee push out against that hand, create tension in that front um, on the outside of that knee. And then last time on the other side, getting down to that lunge. And relax. All right, we've got a little bit of lateral action here. Um, so what we're going to do is bring that knee up. We're going to rotate out, and we're going to step into a sumo squat. All right, the knee comes up, open that hip. It's like a real sumo squat, just like the, I do like this. Ready? I'm just kidding. All right, open that knee, squatting down to a good deep sumo squat. You can take that as fast or as slow as you need to. We're just looking to open those hips in that lateral plane. Knees should be going pretty wide as far out as we can get. And getting that squat as deep as you're comfortable going. But we want to try to push that just a little bit. Get us fired up. Alright, we're gonna go one more time each way. Alright. So game plan today, I'm gonna to run through our six movements and then we'll uh, we'll get you going. So like Monday, we're gonna do 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, so relatively short transition times from one movement to the next. Some of the movements, we'll just split left side and right side. Um, and then uh, that's it, a lot less transition there. So um, I'll show you everything with the weight. I'm just gonna do a quick rundown through the whole list and then we'll get started, all right? So our first movement is a static split squat. So we're taking our stance nice and wide. Uh, we're gonna start with what we call a suitcase hold. Or that, I guess we'll do this side, where that kettlebell is hold down, or that dumbbell um, right in front of the back leg. We're just dropping that knee to the ground or just above the ground here. All right, we'll do left side and then we'll do right side. Second movement is your hang clean. So from a standing position, we're going to drop those hips back 
All right, we're going to pull that kettlebell or that dumbbell up into our front rack position. This front rack position, your thumb should be touching your collarbone, your clavicle. Okay, that's your finished position. That kettlebell is resting on my forearm. If you have a dumbbell, the same deal, you're pulling that dumbbell up to where the head of the dumbbell is touching the front of your shoulder. Okay, so it's resting on the front of your shoulder. Same end position in terms of elbow and wrist though. Okay, from that hang into that front rack. Okay, dumbbell or kettlebell. Um, second or third movement, we're gonna put both of those two movements together. Okay, what that's gonna look like is we're gonna start from that standing position. We're gonna clean and catch into that split squat or lunge position. Okay. And we will be alternating these reps. So what we would do from there is drop back to that hang, switching hands, clean into that lunge. All right. That's our third one, alternating hands every rep. All right. That's three movements. Movement number four is your alternating snatch. Okay. This one, we're going to be going from the ground. So if you have sensitive ground, if you want to uh, hardwood force or anything like that, if you got a towel or a pillow, you want to put that down just to know that we are to the ground. Otherwise, hit the ground. Go for it. Um, so from the ground, we're pulling this kettlebell just like we did with that clean. We're hinging those hips back. We're driving through those hips, and we're punching up to an overhead position in one motion. Okay? From the ground, throwing those hips through. Pull and press in one solid motion. And so we have a fully locked out overhead position. All right. Same thing with the dumbbell. All right. We're really not going to change from dumbbell to a kettlebell in that position. Okay. Alternating every rep on that one. Then we're going to move to some rotational presses. So we have our weight in our front rack position. We're going to lock down that opposite foot. So this is my left hand. My right foot is locked in. I'm going to drive up and rotate through that um, thoracic spine in a rotation. All right. So I'm coming here, push and rotate. So that's why we spent all that time doing those rotations in that warm up to kind of warm us up for that rotation as we press. Okay. Do all the left side, all the right side on that one. And then our last one, we're going to put those two together. So we are going to snatch all the way up, bring it down, rotate. All right. Then we will alternate sides, snatch all the way up, bring it down, punch and rotate. Okay. That's how we're going to finish up for movement number six. All right. If you forgot all the movements, don't worry. We'll go through them all together, but we're going to go ahead and get the timer started. So we're going to start with those split squats here. Uh, we're going to do it on that left side. Um, so go ahead and put that uh, weight in your left hand. Our right foot's going to go forward and we're just dropping down and up into these split squats to start us off. All right. So again, we're doing 45 seconds of work. We've got 15 seconds of rest at the end here. I want you to really focus on that front foot, driving that front foot into and through the ground, keeping that balance, good strong chest up here under 10. Faster or slow as you're comfortable going. So we finish these last couple seconds, two, one, and relax. All right, that weight's gonna go down, we're gonna switch sides here. So now we're going to bring our left foot in front, right foot's going to go back, weight's going to be in that right hand, and through, one, and go for it. So I want you to work on, first and foremost, uh, making sure those feet are in good positioning. All right, making sure that we're not too wide apart from each other, and make sure we're not too narrow, all right? We have a good length of stride, and that knee is coming down, like I said, as close to the ground as possible. If you want to give just a little tap to the ground, you can. Just making sure that our 
chest is now folding forward, right? We're not getting in this position. Standing nice and tall. Last three, two, one, and relax. All right, next we're gonna go to that hang clean. So this is going to be um, single side at a time. So we're gonna do all the left hand first, then we'll do all the right hand, all right? Let's go ahead and pick that weight up in that left hand. It's gonna come from that hip level, dropping back, pulling up, establish that catch. All right, we're gonna get to that reset, drive and catch. All right, so you got 45 seconds to practice going through there. If you really start to feel that kettlebell, if you're using a dumbbell, shouldn't have this issue, but if you feel that kettlebell kind of working into the back of your arm there, when you're working on keeping the bottom of the kettlebell facing towards the ground. So think about kind of maneuvering around that kettlebell with your forearm and not flipping that kettlebell over, all right? Think about more is pulling around that kettlebell. All right, last two, one, and relax. All right, we're gonna switch hands here. Our right hand's gonna go for those cleans. Ready in three, two, one, and go for it. So I have that practiced on the left side. So I know what to expect on this right side. So we can take this again. As always, as fast or slow as possible. I just have this hanging on my chest just to keep this other arm nice and tight in. I know when I start getting out wide, start trying to get a little bit of a rotation in that. So I'm just gonna work to keep myself nice and centered to the front. It also reminds me to kind of push on my chest to keep my chest up so we don't hinge down here. All right, keeping that chest nice and high. The last three, two, one, and relax. All right, this is one we're gonna put those two together. So we're gonna go clean into that lunge, okay? So think about what we just did, clean as soon as you catch that kettlebell, you know, catching it in that lunge position, okay? We're gonna be alternating hands, alternating feet. So whichever side you wanna start with, clean, catching that lunge, back up, switch hands, clean, Catching that lunge and back up. All right, at your own pace. Move at, at uh, a pace that you're comfortable going. We're working on that balance, All right? Just a little bit at a time. So I know it's going crazy. I don't know if there's a squirrel out there or something. Just pull, catching that lunge. Last few seconds here. Three, two, one, and relax. All right. All right. All right, so next one, we're gonna go into those snatches. So just like that clean, but instead of pulling it to the shoulder, you're pulling it overhead, okay? Well, let's get down, get ready. This is gonna be alternating sides, and let's do it. Pull, landing up overhead. All right, two options here. You can switch um, as you go down, touch and pull, or if you wanna slow it down a little bit, put that weight down on the ground and pull from the ground. Either way, making sure that we're getting all the way down. Notice I'm in a bit of a squat position in this bottom. All right, pulling through those hips, all right? Don't just try to yank it up off the ground. Use those hips to drive it up. Last one, and time. All right, so we got those snatches. Now we're gonna go through those rotational overhead presses. We're gonna do everything on the left side first. So go ahead and get that weight into that left hand, keeping those feet right where they are. Press and rotate. All right, like we talked about before, pace that you can manage here, the weight that you grab is gonna be really dependent of how many reps we're finishing here. We can either strict press that, right, just using that arm to press, or we can get a little bit of push press using momentum from those legs, help drive, no harm in that. 
I want you to just focus more on the coordination of pressing and rotating all together. Last one, and relax. All right, way goes all the way down to the ground. We're gonna go to that right side here next. Um, as we go through this 45 seconds, stay focused on your feet. All right, if your feet kind of cheat out to that direction, go ahead and pull those back around. Toes going straight forward. Let's get that weight up. Two, one, let's do it. Push and rotate. All right, once you get that end position as well, take a second to kind of realize where that back is as well. Are we pulling those abs in nice and tight? Is that back in and up straight up? Or is it getting into an ugly low back arch curve shape? All right. If the latter, so just work on pulling those abs in a little bit tighter, holding strong, testing a bit of that overhead mobility here. Last few reps here, two, one, and relax. All right, now number six is going to be that uh, combo, combo one. All right, so we're going to go from the ground, we're going to snatch it up overhead, we're going to drop it to our shoulder. And then it's just that rotational press that we just did. Either hand to start off with, alternating hands every rep. All right, last 45 seconds of the first round. Let's do it. Snatch it up to the shoulder. Press and rotate. I pressed the wrong way. Rotate that way. If you're pressing with your right hand, you're rotating to the left side. All right, big snatch up. Press and rotate. Alternating hands each rep. But don't feel like you have to go fast through this one. All right, if you need a second to kind of find your balance, catch your breath here, dip and drive, go for it. All right, as long as you feel like you're working out, all right, that's effort enough here. Last one, and relax. All right, quick break. We're going to go back up to the top one more time, all the way from the beginning. We're going to go with those split squats. We're going to take that from the, uh, from the split squats instead. Let's go ahead and get that weight up in that left hand. And instead of hanging down like a suitcase, we're going to bring that to your front rack and squat here. All right, just a little bit different of a demand from where our weight is seated. Just working to keep that posture a little bit more upright, maintaining our balance. A lot of core stability going on. Now that we are side loaded, that weight's cheated a little bit more laterally. Last few seconds here. Hold it strong, up and down. Last two, one, and relax. All right, we're gonna switch sides here. Left foot's going forward, weight's up on that right side. Let's go ahead and bring that up. Two, one, and let's do it. Dropping down, going straight up. Hanging in there, folks. We're looking good. We're going to be strong as we go through the last round of this workout. From that first round, remember, putting emphasis in that front leg and that front foot. That's the one that's going to be doing the work. Pressing up. Let's do it, let's do it. Driving that whole foot into the ground. We got final five. Last three, two, one, and relax. All right. I'm gonna go into those hand cleans coming up next. So starting with that weight in our left hand. Drive those hips back, push through those hips into that catch, okay? It's just from that hang to that catch, right? Let's do it. Kettlebells up in that left hand, hinge, push and pull. All right, pushing with those hips, pulling with that trap, with that upper back into that front rack. All right, if your weight's a little bit lighter, it's gonna feel like we don't need to put as much into that hip, but I urge you, Really try to get that weight up with as much hip as you can. Try to stay out of the arm. All right, we're gonna be using a bit of that trap 
as we press in those rotational overhead presses. So let's try to save a little bit of that. Really utilize that hip. Last one. And relax. Really utilize that hip as we do these cleans. All right. We're going to go to that right side. Hand cleans. Right hand. And three, two, one. Let's go. Big pull. Catching that front rack. Looking for those hips to come through. All right. And I said in the beginning, hands up on the chest to remember to remind yourself to keep that chest high. Should be looking at me right here this whole time as we go through these reps. Hips go back, big pull. We've got 10 to go. 10 seconds. Here we go, last two, one, and time. All right. We're going to be moving on to the clean with the lunge. Okay, so remember, as we catch in that clean, we are catching in that lunge position. Okay, we start with that kettlebell in that left hand. We'll be lunging back with that left leg in two, one. Let's do it. Catching that lunge, back down. Switch hands. Alternating every rep. Again, if you want that extra challenge, try to keep that other hand nice and tight to remind us to work on that core stability, work on that posture, maintaining good alignment as we're into that lunge. Big hips even here. And again, as soon as that weight comes down, last one, and relax. As soon as that weight of that kettlebell comes down on that shoulder, we should be kind of in that lunge, okay? Those two should happen simultaneously, all right? We're gonna progress from that lunge clean into that snatch, alternating hands on the snatch. All right, two, one, let's do it. All the way up, alternate. Each rep, dropping those hips down, chest stays up on that pole. So one thing I didn't really mention before, we do want to keep that weight close to us. The closer that weight is, the more straight up we can pull that weight. The farther that weight is away from you, all right, the more that's going to have to come back into you, okay? So if we focus on pulling straight up, it's just going to come straight back down. A lot easier to manage one force rather than two. Okay, keep that force vertical, take that angular momentum out of it. Okay, from that snatch, we're going to go to the overhead presses. We're going to start with that left hand, and we're pressing up with that left hand, rotating to the right side. All right, rotating towards that open side. Nine kettlebells, dumbbells up, drive and rotate. Feet stay planted to the best of your ability. Drive and rotate. Do a strong core. All right, if you need a hand there. As a reminder, utilizing those legs as needed. Drive and rotate. Here we go, folks. About 15 seconds left on this left side. Stay strong. We're here together. All right, just like the last one, last two. One, and good. Just like the last movement, talked about coordinating. On this one, we got one more time on the right side. When we finish that press, all right, when we hit the kind of that lockout position, we want to be rotated, okay? So instead of pushing and rotating, I want you to push and rotate, hit those ends simultaneously, all right? Get that right hand up, get ready, and press. All right, press. If the thoracic mobility isn't quite there to get that whole body rotated around, all right, we can cheat that back foot out a little bit if you need to rotate that back foot. I do want you to try to keep that front foot, though, looking towards the front. I know as I'm getting a little bit more fatigued, we're starting to drain. Last three, 
two, one, and time. All right, we got one movement left. Now we might be going over time just a little bit. I'm gonna do one last one with that snatch, down, and rotate, okay? Alternating hands each rep. All right, ready, getting ready in three, two, one. Let's do the last 45 seconds. Big snatch, drive and rotate, come back down, alternating every rep. Big snatch, reset that shoulder if needed, drive and rotate. All right, we're gonna finish strong here, folks. We're with this all together. Moving at a pace that we are comfortable with, keeping everything all squared up. Not getting ahead of ourselves. Last 10 seconds, big push here. Last three, two, one, and time. All right, awesome job, folks. That's gonna do it for some equips. We'll be back in just a couple minutes for some strength flow. Uh, make sure you grab some water and put those weights away. Get yourself some space. All right, I'll see you in a minute.